Wow. I'm very glad to see that you're doing so well now. It sounds like you've been thriving in your new environment, seeing sights, making friends, and gaining so much from your new experience. I have consistently been supportive of your continuous growth. Even when you were at your lowest, I would often offer hope. Into the pits of your despair, I would throw down the strongest rope meant for you to climb out with and never to noose choke. Never considered your plans for progress as a joke. No matter how out of the realm of possibility they may have seemed, I would say if you truly want it, do it. And if you need assistance, let's make a plan. Create a budget, buckle down, and go through it. Together. That's right, I said it. With the expectation that it would be we who would do this forever. But then came stormy weather. Strong wind blew and soon I wasn't deemed good enough for you. So I had to fall back. Give a shot for guy number two? Nah. I refuse to be the placeholder for your next boyfriend unless I am going to be him even if I have to be him again. You see, I just want to win. That should be obvious. Unless you make the decision that I will never be the one to win your heart. How many half-century celebrated anniversaries do you think perfectly avoided two or three decades of rocky starts? We live in a world of vacuum-sealed hearts, a hollow chest cavity filled with broken parts that we reach into when we need a jagged edge to strike out at anyone who dares to get close to it. I'm just saying, no matter what it is or who it's for, if you didn't make a sincere effort to make it happen, it couldn't have been that important to you. Make time to reflect on what you've been applying your effort to because time is just as much of an investment as money. And the ones that truly get fed should be the ones that are hungry. Many claim that they want everything, but that claim is usually made without the understanding that everything is nothing without the bad things too. Which is what truly increases the value of that which you pursue. So now tell me if my missteps should make me less likely to love you. And am I not still the one you once believed was worthy enough to pursue you? Since when do mistakes make death sentences more feasible? I understand that there are certain things that can damage trust. I realize that there are actions that can make one question the direction of lust. But in comparison to the previous suitors who vied for your affection, I was once lauded as the one with the best resume of protection. I suppose being human made me just as vulnerable as them. But where did I fail you? I was not great at communicating my feelings and I know that I told you. I wanted to grow old with you. In my visions of the future, fast forward 40 years next to me, that woman in that rocking chair was supposed to be you. You were supposed to be the one to consistently curb my appetite. You were the one who promised to treat me right in spite of my ignorance. You were the antithesis to the previous missus who dismissed my feelings and made me reevaluate my own self-worth. To you, I was the most vulnerable, so I suppose it also makes sense that from you I would experience the greatest hurt. No matter what title we were, this was just supposed to work. Not that any of that surprises me. None of these things were ever out of reach of your limitless ability, so I just never dreamed that you would have to do any of it without me.